Welcome back, everyone. Thanksgiving, did you know, is the number one day for cooking fires. So before the holiday, make sure you have the proper safety measures in place to prevent disaster from striking your home. Joining me now is Jeremiah LaFranca, Executive Director for the Salt Lake Chapter of the American Red Cross, and Captain Sean Mummady, Salt Lake City Fire PIO, Public Information Officer. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. All right, I had no idea. So cooking fires, number one on Thanksgiving, which, of course, we're cooking a lot. Yeah, exactly. It is the number one day uh, around the nation for cooking and, and just kind of being around family in general. So it, we do see an uptick in, in kitchen fires specifically. And why is that happening? What's going on with the cooking? Uh, a lot of cooking taking place. Yeah. I think you got a lot more people at home, a lot mm -hmm. of people cooking a large amount of food. Uh, and so you just, I mean, it's going to happen. Well, what are they doing wrong? Are there any safety tips? Sure, I don't know that they're doing anything wrong, but there's things that we can do to prevent these things. Uh, certainly having a fire extinguisher on hand helps. Any ABC rated fire extinguisher that you can pick up from your local hardware store will work. We just want to make sure that people aren't putting that in a place where they have to reach over the fire to get that extinguisher. Um, making sure that their smoke alarms are up to date. Some of these things, uh, those smoke alarms contain self-contained batteries. So maybe check the date on that, make sure that it's a newer smoke alarm or replace the battery. Uh, and then in general, keeping um, individuals away from that cooking area. A lot of small children, nieces, mm -hmm. nephews, grandchildren that maybe you're not used to, uh, you need to be aware of that and, and kind of create that three foot safe distance around. We'll that. make sure those handles are out of play exactly. and not hanging off the stove and all of those really important safety tips. And of course, Jeremiah, I want to bring you in. Unfortunately, these do happen. And so the Red Cross is always there to help when something like this happens. We do. And a majority of the disasters we respond to every year are actually home fires. So we are there to provide support, either immediate financial assistance and other assistance to help those families when those occurrences happen. Of course, we want to prevent that, right? So one of the things that we do focus on is home fire prevention. So we do have actually a home fire campaign that we work on. So you can go to redcross.org forward slash home fires to learn more about that. We have resources such as home fire escape plans. We have also a program where we provide up to three free smoke alarms installed into your home. Uh, that we can work with. So just to make sure that people are aware and educated on what to do. Well, we're so busy dealing with our guests and cooking and shopping that we forget some of the safety measures that we do need to take and prep for, right? Yeah, absolutely. So little things like if you have a fire that starts in a pan, make sure you cover it with a lid to put it out. Don't splash water uh, on there. Okay. If you're smoking, or not smoking, if you're actually deep frying a turkey, make sure that you don't overfill it with oil or that you don't leave that unattended. Um, that's definitely something that can happen. You don't want to also put a frozen turkey into that hot oil as well because that can cause a fire too. So these are such good information that we need reminding of yeah. don't put fire don't put water on a pan that's on fire. Put the lid on first. Yeah. And then deal with it and then call nine one one potentially. All right, a lot of people still fire, frying turkeys? Absolutely. Turkeys don't go out of style. <laughs> <laughs> or so, the frying yeah, part, and right? He brought up a good point. We don't want to put a frozen turkey in that vat of oil, measuring it properly first, and then making sure that that turkey is completely dry before it's put in that oil. Where yeah. can people find out more information? So you can go to redcross.org forward slash home fires to learn more and also slcfire.com. Captain, you thank you so much. Jeremiah, thank you so much. Really good information as we head into the holiday. And thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank All you. All right. We'll be right back.